Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can activate the 60 FPS patch for Persona 5 on RPCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator. Now, before we get started, please be aware that in order to actually push 60 FPS in this quite demanding game, you are going to need quite a good CPU and a GPU combination. You should also be made aware of the fact that in certain gameplay situations, this patch will actually speed up your game. However, in my experience with using this patch, it is fully playable even when the game is slightly sped up. Okay, let's jump across to my desktop and I'm going to show you exactly how to use this patch. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to open up my latest RPCS build master folder. It is into this folder that we are going to be putting our patch file. This is the patch file right here, you can find it down in the description of this video. This is the actual patch and you are going to need to find your PPU executable. In order to find this, all you're going to need to do is actually come to your RPCS3 build itself and launch it. Next, you want to right click on your log area right here and you want to make sure that Trace is selected. Once you have Trace selected, you actually want to now boot Persona 5. Once you have started compiling your shaders, simply click X and close it and next you want to scroll this window right back to the top. Next, you want to hit Ctrl and F on your keyboard in order to bring this window up. Into this find string window you want to type ppu space exe and hit enter. Once you hit enter, you can simply close this window and you can see right here that this is your ppu exe. Next, you simply want to highlight all of this text right here, right click and copy it, and then you want to come to your patch.yml file that I have provided you. Simply open it, and then what you want to do is highlight the ppu exe that's already here, right click on it, and click paste. Once you have done this, all you need to do is come to file, click save, and then you can close this document. Next, I'm just gonna minimize this window, and I'm going to drag and drop this patch.yml file into my RPCS3 main folder. And that is basically it. You have now applied the 60 FPS patch to your game. Let's now just reload our game and see if the patch is correctly applied. And there we go, as you can see in the top left hand corner of RPCS3, we are indeed now running at 60 FPS, and as you can also see, this menu is being correctly rendered at 60. Let's just load into game and see what performance is like there. Okay, so now we're loaded into game and you can still see that we are rendering at 60 FPS. Let's just continue into a more demanding area and see how this patch holds up. As I previously said, you are going to need a very high end CPU and GPU combination in order to maintain anywhere near 30 or 60 FPS in this game. As you can see, when we are rendering this hallway, we are dropping down from 60 to 30 to 35 FPS. Let's just continue through and see what our performance is like. Okay, so it appears like we are going to be stuck in and around 30 to 35 FPS, at least in this small cutscene. When we actually get into gameplay, our performance bumps up a small amount, and as you can see, it is quite dependent on where we are in the actual game. Let's just try get into a battle and see what performance is like in that situation. Once we actually get into a battle, our performance fluctuates somewhere between 45 and 60 FPS, not bad performance at all. Hopefully when RPCS3, this PlayStation 3 emulator, gets optimized more in the future, we might be actually able to maintain a constant 60 FPS lock in Persona 5 on the PC platform. So once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, Dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.